Welcome back. The warring parties in South Sudan have finally come to a consensus on various ministerial posts in a new cabinet. This marks a huge step in the formation of a joint transitional government where all parties will have a stake. Also in a move to boost reconciliation among the South Sudanese people, President Salva Kiir also apologized to his citizens for the two-year-long civil war. The quest for peace in South Sudan has taken a bold step forward for the peace agreement signed in August 2015. Warring factions have agreed on how to share ministerial positions in a transitional government. CARES team will take the finance, defense, and justice and information ministries. Rebel leader Riek Mashar's group will take up the petroleum and interior ministries. Former detainees, foreign and transport ministries, while a group of unarmed opposition parties will run the cabinet affairs and agriculture portfolios. Also in a rare move, President Salva Kiir has apologized to the people of South Sudan for the untold suffering the 20 months of war and strife has caused. He urged citizens to reach a point of harmony and unity amongst themselves and with the country's neighbors. The South Sudanese war has resulted in the displacement of over 2 million people and the deaths of 10,000 people since it began in December 2013 when Kiir sacked the then Vice President Riek Mashar for allegedly planning a coup d'etat. Mashar then formed his rebel army to fight the government despite denying Kiir's allegations. The New Deal that promises peace through power sharing states that a transitional government would be created for a period of 30 months followed by an election. Meanwhile, authorities in South Sudan have arrested a journalist for criticizing the government's handling of civil war and shut down his newspaper, the Arabic Daily El Tahbir. Trixingado, KTN News, Nairobi.